Okay, equation of a straight line. This is really important to get this one down. Uh, this comes up a lot. Uh, you will definitely need this for the exam. Now, last year in IG, you would have done this by using y equals mx plus c, and perhaps um, work out the gradient, put in some coordinates to work out the equation, but we're going to do it a little more sophisticated now for AS. So, we use the following equation. So y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So this is a really important equation. You're going to use it a lot. So it's going through a point, a coordinate of x1, y1, and it has a gradient of m. So all we need is those bits of information, and we'll be able to work out the equation of a straight line. So let's have a look at how to do this in an example. We're going to find the equation of the line that goes through the point 2, 5 and has a gradient of 2. So we're using y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And the re reason that we're using this instead of y equals mx plus c is because this is a little faster with a couple of less steps. So it means there's less places you could go wrong. So first of all, put in y1. So that's the y coordinate of the point that you've been given. So in this case, it's 5. Next, we need to put in the gradient, which we're told is 2. And then finally, put in the x-coordinate of the point, which is also 2 in this example. And then we multiply out that bracket, rearrange and tidy up that equation. So the equation of our line is y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, another example. Find the equation of the line through the point 1, 3 and perpendicular to the line 3y plus x equals 2. This is a good point to talk about the fact that we don't need to write straight lines um, always in the form of y equals mx plus c. You can write them as um, the y plus x components of that equal to a constant, or you can have it as the y and the x and the constant equal to 0. Um, usually when it's like this, 3y plus x equals 2, is because if you rearranged it, it would have fractions in it. So this is a way to keep it so we've got whole numbers. All right, anyway, carrying on. So from that line, 3y plus x equals 2, we need to get the gradient of what that line would be. So let's just rearrange that into y equals mx plus c form so that we can get just read off that gradient. So to get the gradient of this line here, it's minus a third. So the gradient that we actually want is the gradient that would be perpendicular to that. Perpendicular would be the negative reciprocal of minus a third. So that would be 3. So the gradient of the line that we are looking for is 3. Now plug that into our equation. We've got that it's going through the point 1, 3 and has a gradient of 3. So we put all of those pieces of information in, multiply out the brackets, and simplify. All right, and one last example. We're going to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line AB, where A is minus 1, 1, and B is 3, 5. Right, so first of all, we need the gradient of that line AB, so we do the change in Y over the change in X. So one y coordinate minus the other divided by one x coordinate minus the other. Make sure you get them in the same order. So that is 4 over 4, which gives us a gradient of 1. That means the gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be the negative reciprocal of that. So that is minus 1. Right, now the perpendicular bisector will go through the midpoint. So we need to find the midpoint of AB. So halfway between minus 1 and 3 is 1, and halfway between 1 and 5 is 3. So midpoint is 1, 3. Now plug that all into our equation, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So we get this following one. We put in the 3, the minus 1, and the 1. Tidy it up. And we get the final equation of y plus x equals 4. You can also write that as y equals minus x plus 4. It's just considered a little tidier to keep things positive if we can.